What's going on guys? John Alder here from Codemy.com and in this video, we're going to fix our five card problem for our blackjack game with Kinter and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to fix the five card problem for our blackjack game. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTubefit and you need to get 50% off memberships on my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. <laughs> a special shout out to everybody who grabbed my new Python book at Amazon over the weekend. You guys made it the number one hot new release at Amazon in the Python category. So thank you very much for that. If you didn't get it, head over to Amazon, type in Elder Python, check it out. It's very cool. And thanks for checking it out. Okay, so we've been working on this blackjack game for a long time. The last big thing we really have to look at is whenever you deal five cards in blackjack, if you don't bust, if you don't go over 21, it doesn't matter what those cards are, you win. So we haven't built that into the game yet, and that's what we're going to do in this video. So, okay, let's give this a try. That's no good. Okay, so ace into two. Uh, eh. Okay, so player wins. You can see it automatically it just decided we won because we have one, two, three, four, five cards. They add up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eighteen. Eighteen. We automatically win. The dealer doesn't even get a chance to play because we have five cards. We didn't bust, so we win. So that's what we want to build in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal, as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the Kinter playlist with over 200 other Kinter videos. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got the same code we've been working on. I just renamed it blackjack underscore seven. It was blackjack underscore six in the last video. And what we want to do here is scroll on down to the player hit function. So this is the function that gets called anytime we get a new card, we hit, right? So we can see right here, we've got global dealer spot. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create some more globals and we are gonna need the player underscore total because we're gonna need to know the score. We are also gonna need the dealer underscore total. We're also gonna need the player underscore score, which I think we, yeah, we, we already create that in this one, but it's not global. I'm just gonna make it global just to be sure. We may not have to. So we can see, we're already keeping track of how many cards are dealt with this dealer spot. So if it is less than five, we're doing a thing, right? If there's zero cards, we do something. If there's one card dealt, we do something. If there's two cards dealt, right? On and on. We did this in prior video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here. I'm gonna change this from less than five to less than and equal to five, because now if we get five cards, we wanna do something. So we need to account for that in this logic right here. So. Next, I'm just gonna come down here to the four one. So if the dealer spot is four and we click the hit button, that means we want another card. That means we have four. And here we're gonna draw the fifth card. And up here, before that even, we've drawn the card, but we've, and we've added it to the score. So our score is good. But underneath here, I'm just gonna see if, I don't know, five card bust, right? So if we have five cards and we're over 21, obviously we bust. We've already accounted for that elsewhere. But if we're less than 21, we want to do something. So let's uh, grab our totals. So we have a player underscore total. We'll set that equal to zero. And we've got a dealer underscore total. That'll be also zero. And let's get player score. And we've done this before. We just go for score in player underscore score. Let's just go player underscore total plus equals score. All right, and we need to do the same thing for the dealer score just for fun, because we want to put that score up on the, on the little box that pops up if we do win. So let's go for score and dealer score. And same thing here, we'll change this to dealer score. Okay, so we've got our player total and our dealer total. Now we can do some basic logic check to see if less than or equal to 21. So let's go if player underscore total is less than or equal to 21. Well, we've won, right? We win, right? So what do we wanna do? Well, first let's disable the buttons. So disable buttons. We've done this lots of times. Let's just go card underscore button dot config. And we want the state to equal disabled. And we also want the stand underscore button dot config. And same thing here, state equals disabled. Now, really all we need to do is, you know, 
pop up a message box, right? So we know how to do that. We just go message box dot show info. And here, let's just say player wins, right? Woohoo! For the title. And then let's create an F string. And let's say player wins. And then let's put the totals up on the screen. So let's say dealer colon. And then inside of here, we can call the dealer underscore total. And then here we can say player. Same thing, we can do the player total. So that should do it. So I'm going to grab all of this stuff. And I'm going to copy this over to the dealer hit function as well. And that's going to be very hard for the dealer to ever get five cards just because of the nature of the game. If they have anything over 17, they have to stand. So if they have four cards up to 18, they have to stand. They can't get a fifth card. So it's going to be very unlikely they ever happens, but we can still put it in here. Let's come up here to our, let's see, where's our dealer hit? Whoops. You know what? We did all that in the dealer hit section. Okay. Well, whoops. Why didn't you tell me? All right. Well, we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to copy all this then to the player hit section. And we're going to need to modify this code after we copy it because it says this is all for player stuff here. So we need to change that. And we could just say dealer wins. <laughs> uh, dealer wins. And up here, instead of player total, this is going to be dealer total. All right. Uh, that looks good. So same thing. We can come down here to player hit, make this less than or equal to five, come down here to the four section. There it is player spot four. And I should have put two and two together, paste all this in. That looks good. We're also going to have to copy up our global. So I'm just going to come up here to our dealer hit function that we did earlier. Copy this boom, bring it back down here to our player hit section all over the place in this video. Okay, so that should do it. So let's just look at the dealer hit one more time to make sure. Uh, let's see, dealer, dealer, score and player score, dealer score, if dealer total, yep, yep, that looks good. Okay, that's all good. So let's go ahead and save this and run it, see if we can get this to work. I'm in my C GUI directory, let's run Python, blackjack underscore seven, dot by. And let's shuffle this till we get some low cards down here. Okay, ace and a two. This is three points. Let's hit me. All right, that's six, seven, eight, nine. Hit me again. 14. Hit me again. Oh, we busted. Close. All right, let's try it again. All right, two and four. Hit me. Player loses 24. Ah, so close. All right, ace and ace. Hit me, hit me, hit me. All right. Player wins. Dealer has five. Player has 20. So here we have four, eight, nine, 10. 20. We've got five cards, one, two, three, four, five, and we win. I'm not even going to try and game this out for the dealer. I'm just going to assume since it works for the player, it's going to work for the dealer because like I said, it's going to be very difficult for you to ever get a dealer to five cards. It just almost can't happen because anytime they get above 17, 17 or above, they have to stop. That's built into the game. They can't get another card. So, you know, unless it just happens to be 16 and then they get another card you know, whatever. So anyway, that looks good. So, okay. I think we're going to call this project done. We could keep tinkering with this game forever, building in little things here and there. We didn't do like split where if you get a, a three and a three, you can split it off. We didn't do that. You could do that yourself or just sort of leave it. Uh, the purpose of this wasn't to build a professional blackjack game. It was just to, you know, have a little fun and, and learn some cool things along the way. And we've got a very basic blackjack game here. It does the trick and uh, it's been kind of fun. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students to learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.